Well, like I just said right before break, the showers today have been heavy at times, but they've been very hit and minute miss. Notice a lot of places have gotten no rain today. More head West Liberty, Boonville, McKee, Richmond, Winchester, all around zero. But then you go up toward Carrollton. They've picked up an inch of rain, some pretty strong storms and some heavy rain falling there. Liberty in Casey County, three tenths of an inch. Columbia, almost half an inch. Lexington has even picked up a tenth of an inch of rain. Now tomorrow we're going to start to see more of these showers becoming a little bit more widespread, meaning you have a better chance of picking up rain at your house. We're kind of caught in between two different low pressure systems. The one off to the east, we're not worried about. The one to the northwest, that is what we are watching. That's what's been bringing some severe storms to portions of Illinois. You can see that action has been spotty across the state today, but we're now starting to see a pretty strong line beginning to roll on into Kentucky. A few severe thunderstorm warnings have even popped up along this line. We'll be watching this as we move through the rest of the evening. So your risk today is still a marginal risk around the north of I-64, Cincinnati and north into Ohio. That is a slight risk for tomorrow. We start to see the marginal risk kind of sitting all over our viewing area. So this will be on a scale from one to five, one tomorrow with your main threats being some strong to maybe even damaging winds at times because a lot of these storms just have a lot of that energy to work with. So wind gusts are a possibility. Tornado is not zero, maybe a 2% chance. So it's on the low side, but again, it's still on the table. Hail on the low side as well. And the potential for maybe some quick isolated flash flooding is also possible between a low and a medium threat because a lot of these downpours that we have seen today can bring a lot of heavy rain just quickly and then move off quickly. So again, hit and miss, but the potential for heavy rain is still there, not only with any shower or storm that we see the rest of this evening overnight, but also into your Sunday. So let's walk through future track. Clouds, of course, have been scattered across the sky today. We've seen some times of sunshine that has helped our temperatures rise into the mid 80s. Overnight, most of the action wanes, but it fizzles out. We're not going to see a whole lot of action, maybe a cell or two, a quick downpour here and there, but not all over the state. In fact, most of your Sunday, we start off on kind of a dry note, and then we begin to see a line kind of forming, bubbling up, popping up around maybe as early as 1, 2 p.m. Again. So shortly after midday and then we kind of start to see it congeal, maybe even starting to form more of a line as we move toward 3, 4, 5 p.m. So again, off and on, we're going to see some of these heavy downpours, uh, definitely a little bit more coverage tomorrow than what we've seen today. Eventually, that low pressure system begins to move through and as that happens, there's still a chance for a shower, maybe early on Monday and then we're going to stay mostly cloudy and then eventually we see everything kind of breaking apart and clearing out Tuesday looks a whole lot better. We just have to make it through till then before we start to see the nicer weather returning spotty showers, but some of these could be heavy downpours picking up an inch inch and a half at times, maybe even upwards near two inches. After that, we do start to see those numbers for rain chances dwindling as we move into next work week. Also tracking the tropics, not a lot going on, uh, but we do have what is the potential for number four moving closer to southern Texas and Mexico. We'll be watching that. If it is a named storm, it will be named Danielle. Four highs tomorrow around 83 degrees, 82 degrees on Monday. Low 80s continue through Tuesday, and then we're back into the mid and the upper 80s by the end of the week. Nice dry stretch for the end of the week as well.